You have seen the old movies, the woman cries, the music rises, the man sweeps her into his arms for a night of passion. The new research seems to suggest that only happens in the movies, that men are actually turned off by a teary woman. Dan Harris has been digging into all this. You know, I've been trying to find a way, George, to do this story without making my wife very angry at me. <laughs> well, if my wife's crying, I know I'm out of luck, so it's okay. <laughs> all right, well, here goes. On a scientific level, this study raises some truly fascinating questions about whether our tears could be sending out chemical signals that impact other people's behavior and physiology. On an interpersonal level, the study raises some more complex issues. We've known for a long time that some men are not fans of chick flicks like, say, Steel Magnolias. We've also known that some men get annoyed when women in their life become emotional, a sentiment summed up by Tom Hanks in A League of Their Own. There's no crying in baseball! But now we're learning that this male aversion to female crying may have a basis in science. A new study done in Israel found that men who were exposed to women's tears tears that were extracted, incidentally, by having those women watch sad movies, they had lower testosterone levels, and the parts of their brain that register sexual arousal were less active. We took this actress named Jessica to a local Equinox gym here in New York City and had her cry on command. This guy admitted he didn't like it very much. It depends. I mean, if I've done something wrong and I know it, then I'll feel bad. But if it's something, you know, we've been in a relationship a while and I, it's just, uh, for a reason I can't comprehend them, yeah, I'd be, I might be slightly annoyed. But then this guy said there are some circumstances in which crying could work in a woman's favor. If she's crying and start kissing, that's different. <laughs> Dr. Ruth Westheimer, the legendary sex therapist, says she's a little bit worried about this study. I want you to ask, what's the matter, can I help you? I don't want you to worry about is your penis erect or not. <laughs> She wants to make sure men do not draw the wrong conclusion. I thought to myself, now there's science behind uh, my argument that when my wife cries, I get annoyed. That's why I came on television. I don't want you to get off the hook by saying if she cries, I can just ignore it. That would make me tell her, don't have sex with him for the next month. <laughs> And that is where we cut off the interview. <laughs> this study definitely leaves a lot of open questions and room for further inquiry. For, for example, what impact does it have on women when men cry? That's an especially relevant question right now that we, that we have this rather weepy new speaker of the house, John Boehner. <laughs> So lots of areas to so explore. So you're going to get in more trouble with Boehner or your wife back at home? I guess. We'll I would out. rather get in trouble with Boehner. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay, but you guys make us cry. Did you Did you put that in it? Uh, I, I didn't feel like that was relevant. <laughs> 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 you would feel that way. It all comes full circle. Dan Harris, thanks very much. Right.